Hello, everybody. Welcome to downtown San Jose, California. We are underground today, literally underground. And I'm going to take you on a tour of some of the underground players who are helping to shape the lifestyle, culture, and just the overall spirit of this amazing city that makes it so awesome to live, work, and play here. I'm Arish Rivers on the American Dream TV. I can't wait to show you guys what's up. Let's dive in. We're here at Cash Only in San Jose, one of the fairly newest bars here that really has made a big impact on downtown. And a lot of the time we hear that Cash Only, one of the biggest things about it is that it's Cash Only in spirit, name, and operation. Could you share a little bit about that, that spirit that people mention? Yeah, this spot is uh, it's your neighborhood bar. And uh, it is has become the industry end up, but in essence, being a neighborhood bar means that you have a friendly face that you trust, that you feel safe with, um, and that's something that we want to perpetuate. In addition to that, they can make a mean daiquiri, um, classically made, not blended. Um, there are several rules to, to go with that, um, but you can also get in a shot in a beer and play pool and unwind and experience this place the way you want to. How did Cash Only come to be? So Cash Only, the idea behind it was that um, the, the inspiration was the jukebox was Cash Only, and that's actually where the name came from. And then it started to spurt out from there, um, where, yeah, we went full bore and it's Cash Only, and you've got this big man behind you um, to kind of guide the way. His whole music career um, definitely uh, was beyond just music and more about uh, storytelling and um, sharing the load of, of, of those less fortunate. And we see all walks of life. San Jose is a very diverse place. It's not just tech. What's underneath it is deep and rich. And we want to perpetuate that, um, that feel. We're here standing in front of the 100 block mural project. This thing looks, this is amazing, this is beautiful. Um, and so why don't you guys tell me a little bit about what you do here in San Jose and what kind of influence your nonprofit has had. Local Color got started in 2015 here in San Jose. Our roots were just down the street and our first brick and mortar. Um, the organization started in the realm of public art and creating murals um, with the first ones going up in 2016. How'd you get the vision for Local Color? Back in 2015, started the organization um, as a way to support artists. Um, we got our very first grant and we had to learn how to pay artists, to pay for materials, pay for all this stuff, and it led into fundraising and has now grown to be, um, we run affordable art studios, we do public art, uh, we do youth engagement programs, and we run a, an administrative program around fiscal sponsorship. So where are the studios that you guys uh, generally sponsor and create for the artists? One of them is here. Yeah. Uh, underneath the um, 100 block mural, we run about 20,000 square feet here in downtown San Jose. Uh, we have an additional about 3,000 square feet um, by the SAP Center. And in the time that we've been doing this, we have um, opened and closed about 69,000 square feet of creative space. So that 20,000 square feet, is that, is that here? Yeah, it's right under here. We're almost on top of it. Can we go see it? We can go see it. You guys, thank you for joining me so much on another episode of the American Dream TV. Today, we got to head into cash only and learn a little bit about some of the influential minds driving San Jose nightlife and transforming the culture here. We also got to see some of the visuals and kind of the, the birthplace of what we see here in San Jose that helps establish the culture and makes this such an amazing place to live, work, and play. I'm Arish Rivers, and I look forward to seeing you guys again here in San Jose on the American Dream TV. Thank you.